Hey guys, it's Rian. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, how are you? Don't forget to subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any other future videos and make sure you guys hit that bell. You'll be notified every single time I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup of products I hate. Yes, you heard that right. I have a whole drawer of makeup of products I just don't use, don't like, and it, it just sits there and I don't know why I've thrown it out. So I guess today is the video of me realizing why I don't like the products and after this video they're going in the trash forever. I don't know why I thought this was a great idea. Let's hope my face doesn't break out even more. Like, oh my god, why did I decide to do this? But we're doing it. But if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so I, so you guys do not miss out on any other future videos. If you want to see me go through some pain during this video, then keep on watching. I don't want to miss a beat. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with brows like usual. So the first prep is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Brow Power Duo. Um... The reason why I don't like this is because I prefer a pencil, so it's not really a bad thing. I feel like this is good to set brows. Okay, we're going to do the darker one, um, this one right here, using the Jeffree Star angled brush. If you're not using a Jeffree Star brush, unsubscribe. So I forgot my Jeffree Star mirror, so we're going to just use this janky ass mirror. Oh, this feels so weird. I used to only fill my eyebrows in with powder and then I discovered a pencil and I was like shook to the core. Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. It's just like, it's not my type of vibe. It, one thing about a powder, um, it is very easy to do your brows in seconds. Like this is probably like a good, like if you're running late type of, vibe but no what do you guys think now we're going with concealer this should be great okay so the concealer i will be using later in the video too um this is the milk makeup flex concealer this is in the shade light i feel like this is just way too dark it's like not even light like i feel like it just oxidizes and just looks kind of orange so we're gonna just carve out our brows because we need to do something in, in helping this mess of a brow <laughs> it just like makes my brows just look like <laughs> Maybe from far away, they look okay, but it's not a vibe. Okay, now that our brows are done, from far away, they're not too bad. It's just, let's move on. Okay, so now with eyeshadow, um, I am going to, oh my God, it's <laughs> gonna be a rough one. So the only eyeshadow palettes that I do have that I actually like really don't like are the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I used to use these every single day um, when I was in like middle school, I feel like. I love them. It's just after using like Morphe and like Jeffree Star and just like comparing them to these, it just, you can't even compare. Quality on this is god awful. Like it's just a mess. So yeah. what we're gonna do to prime our eyes is our concealer because I don't have any like eye primers that I don't really like. Um, I was gonna cheat and use my good eye primer, but I thought, you know what, let's not. The Naked 3 is more of like a pinky type of vibe. Um, I'm like out of breath. <sighs> God, I need to exercise more. Like this is more of like a pretty like girly kind of pink eyeshadow look. Like I love a good pink eyeshadow look, but not like that muted. And then this, you can tell I use this like literally every single day in middle school. Let's start off with the color 
limit this like very neutral color any of these products in this video that I do use and you guys use as well and you like it great keep using it um it just didn't work for me please don't come for me in the comments and be like I use it it's so great okay it could work for you some things don't work for certain people you know okay cute very like neutral take the color nooner and we are gonna start packing that on the outer crease um this is just a little bit darker than the first shade and then kind of gonna go for like a little bit of a halo eye maybe now we are gonna take which we do a gold on the lid i think that would be pretty so we're gonna take the color trick this gold color the only gold in this whole palette the rest is freaking pink so we're gonna pack that on the lid we're gonna just kind of mostly focus this in the middle obviously you can tell the pigmentation is not the best but we're gonna take some with our finger maybe that'll be better okay it's better with your finger that's for sure and then we are going to kind of deepen up that crease a little bit so it's not kind of like just one color. We're going to mix Dark Side and Black Heart, so these two dark shades. Alright, both eyes are done. This one looks kind of wonky. I tried to clean it up and definitely kind of ruined it, but it's fine. So we're gonna go over and moisturize slash prime. So this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Lumi Moisturizer. Um, I don't have a primer that I don't really like. Um, this I'm just gonna count this as a primer too, but this is a moisturizer. The reason why I don't like this, this is great for the summertime when you're at the beach. It has a little bit of glow. If you have very oily skin, this is not your friend. So now we're going to go on to foundation. So I have a couple foundations with me. The two, um, I have the L'Oreal and Fallible stick foundations, and then I have the Juvia's Play Velvety Matte Foundation. So the reason why I don't like these, these look very cakey on the skin. I bought a bunch of these for my trip to California um, last year because I was like, I need a cheap foundation that I can buy a bunch without like breaking the bank. And then the reason why I don't like this is just, this is way too heavy, super heavy very full coverage like you only need like a little bit that's how i feel about this product so maybe i will mix them both together i don't know like what shade i am oh 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 that is definitely not my shade yeah i don't know what shade i am um i did 405 in this and look how orange that is and they do dry i feel like really fast as if i can remember i haven't used these in a while Okay, and then we're gonna dot some of Julia's place. This one is probably the closest to my skin tone. I'm gonna start blending this. But I feel like with this foundation, I feel like it's hard to blend out. Now we're gonna go on to concealer. Obviously we know what we're using. We're using the Milk. Makeup Flex Concealer. Oh my god, it looks so, like this is like the color of my skin tone. Like there's gonna be no highlighting at all. We're gonna take our Beauty Blender, my favorite Beauty Blender. I tested this out in my recent video that I just posted, so go check it out, I'll put a link down below. Um, so let's get to blending. It just blends in with my skin. And this is good for people who have a lot of breakouts or redness and you want to conceal that because you don't want a, a lighter shade to conceal any breakouts or redness because that will just accentuate it 
and you don't want that. Trust me, I have made that mistake so much and it's never a good outcome. I don't know if I had told you guys this. This is the e.l.f. beauty sponge. And oh my god, it is amazing. I feel like drugstore makeup, like they really are stepping up their game and they're like, step aside, Sephora. Okay, so this is the concealer blended out. Um, it just doesn't give enough coverage. We're gonna set our under eyes. Oh, this is gonna be a hot mess. So, um, what I'm gonna be setting my under eyes with is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Translucent. I actually used to like this. I used to use this until I started using flash photography for my makeup photos and just my photos on Instagram and stuff. Link down below if you guys wanna follow me. Um, it has a ton of flashback. It gives you a white cast. It's not good. And the powder literally goes everywhere. Hey, on camera, it kind of looks like white. Do you guys see that? Oh my god, crazy. Like, in person, it's fine. It just has, like, a little, like, a white under. It is super smooth, this powder. It's so soft. We're going on with bronzer. This is what I've been dreading <laughs> the whole video. So, in my previous video, I talked about the shade Light Palette. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I do like the, the first three colors. These are great, like, to set your concealer or just to give, like, a nice highlighted look underneath. They're super nice. But on the other hand, the contour colors. I, this is one reason I stopped using this palette, because of them. These two fell out recently. Um, so we can't use that. So now we have this color to contour with. We are gonna use my Morphe M5 to sunbrush. This is like beat up to shreds. Okay, this is gonna go very light handed. Okay, not so bad. And I love to cream contour, that's not an option today. Oh lord. Oh, okay. This is not looking good. Oh lord. On the monitor, it actually doesn't look bad, but in person, like the cheeks look. Ooh, sis. Now we're gonna do blush. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. This is in the color Keep It Peachy. Um, I just feel like. There's nothing wrong with the quality of the blush. I just feel like this color isn't for me. It's just like so peachy. I'm more of like a pink blush person. Nothing like this. I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. Um, so that's probably the only reason why I don't like it is just the color. Now we are gonna do highlight. So, don't make fun of the size of this highlight. I got this in a birch box, I believe, as a sample. And the highlighter is this big. Like, it's so tiny. Like, <laughs> um, but the reason why I didn't like it was, like, you could barely see it. Maybe you just had to get through the top layer, because some highlighters are like that. It's actually not bad. Ooh, okay, right there actually looks pretty. I'm actually surprised. Last time I used this, it actually did not did not show up on the skin at all. So I'm actually very impressed. This look is actually turning around. I thought this look was gonna like really go south, but overall it doesn't actually look too bad, but you never know, the lips could ruin everything. For lips, um, we are gonna be taking the Ulta Tinted Lip Balm in Licorice. Yay! It is like not matte. It's a lip balm. It's shiny. It's like fire truck red. And I hate the lip balm. Ugh. It just smells bad. Ooh. Okay, so my final thoughts on this look. Okay, overall, 
it actually doesn't look bad. The eyeshadow looks pretty good, except this eye is a little funky at the end, but that's okay. Um, the highlighter is actually pretty. The contour, we all know how I feel about the contour. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.